Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Good evening. We're going to have, uh, call this meeting to order. Kindly please rise for the pledge vote. Aye. Good evening, everybody. Let me do a roll call real quick. Mr. Abate, Mr. Andrianakis here. Mr. Bell, Mr. Delma Quill. Mr. Donovan, here. Mr. Ferrandino, here. Ms. Keefe, here. Mr. Pizzuti, here. Ms. Stell. We have a quorum, Mr. President. Thank you, Ms. Davis. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided by the following means. Annual notice was sent to the record newspaper. Conference clerk was posted in the lobby of town hall in Bordeaux for setting forth from the scheduled meeting public meeting of the board. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for coming out in person tonight. Um, we had, like you said, we had to open up the meeting tonight formally. We posted for a quorum, the non-action meeting. Um, we're going to go over the process really quick and basically turn it over to the public. Have, have you asked any questions that you would like to ask for this, for this search? We also have a, a superintendent search email which we sent out a message if anyone that wasn't able to come tonight, they can email any questions from now until the search ends with questions they would like to ask us or ask, we will ask our interview. There was a few questions that some people already sent, and there are actually a bunch of them I will bring to the interview process. Um, the committee is going to be Mr. Ferrandino, Mr. Donovan, Ms. Keith, and myself, and Mr. Pizzuti will fill in if I can't make it. Uh, to any of the actual uh, interviews. Um, the posting closes this Sunday. The committee will meet on Thursday the 20th. We already started receiving applicants and we are gonna start interviews immediately. And then we will narrow it down to at least three candidates, which we will bring to the whole board to select from there. So, other than that, that is going to be the process. Um, Three, as Ms. Keith mentioned at our last meeting, three of us are were on the previous search committee when we found Mr. Greco, so I am confident we'll find another great candidate to bring forward to uh, to Lynnhurst. So, so at this time, if anybody would like to come forward and ask any questions. It was in the record, mm -hmm. and it's a uh, ledger of it. It was on the ledger, the ledger posted right. on NJ.com, the job board. The NJ School Jobs? Uh, oh. Yes, I saw it on NJ School Jobs. I think so. Uh, I don't want to say it definitively because when you buy the, the ad through NJ.com, mm -hmm. they, they go to all their subsidiary postings. Um, but I'm almost positive once you link the ad, it links into the job post. Gotcha. And then is there any way, like, I would say probably just the salary. That's about it. Yeah. 
line for the job. Once we close out the applications, we're going to then have a, I think uh, uh, Chris said to have a committee meeting to review all the applications. But we're very much aware that there's a local, there are local applicants or local individuals who may be qualified with the right certificates to take positions. Okay, and then just one last question. Um, and I think it, it got reset. Um, 
If you can get two contracts out of the superintendent, I think that's great. If you get the three, you're probably at the high end of the scale at this point, where you get somebody in for 10 years. I, I don't, you know, I, I, it's hard to see that right now. I mean, I, quite frankly, I think it's public. You know, Fort Lee, Burton County District's had a contract, superintendent for three years, three contracts, I believe, but he's going to retire, and it's going to be like his ninth year when they try to re-up and renegotiate. So um, it is becoming a mobile position, which I think is, is a detriment to districts, to teaching staffs, to community.
somebody that, that's going to be enthusiastic of reaching for the stars and not settling for mediocrity. And I hope that trickles. I hope that becomes infectious within the whole district. And a lot's going to come into play too when we interview what their vision is, what their what their plan is. What, you know, it's not just uh, what they've done in the past, where they see what they what potential do they see with us? Can can they can this person uh, raise the the expectations of our staff to get more? You know, not, not that they're not great, but get more out of them and, and just bring everybody up to a new level. So. Um,
to work well with you guys and like the teachers union and stuff. Is there a way we can ensure like a little bit more consistency amongst all the schools with the new superintendent? Is that like going to be a thought or a plan? Um, I know this year, like you all said, it was crazy, but I know like in the press, everything's kind of been like set right, but just have a little bit more unity between the superintendent versus the administration because that does trickle down at a teacher level as well. Well, we do. 
have to say we do. We have a few already, and it hasn't closed yet, so it'll probably hopefully grow by a few. So in, in a perfect world, we would have loved to have you know a long process and it, you know include stakeholders, teachers, parents, and stuff. Um, it's the timing part. So we will try. You know, Mr. Lamb, I saw for both teachers and parents at the same time, so you took two birds. <laughs>
not just for rental spaces, but for events. Um, I actually printed the um, district goals that Mr. Greco had in the last couple of years. Obviously, not all of them are fulfilled because of COVID, but I pretty much checked off a lot that I, were, that I was aware of, and obviously other things were internal. Um, you know, I think that Lindhurst is continuously going through a lot of changes, demographically, environmentally, um, and how it affects the community. Um, I think it's a very nice town. I think the people are great. They really care. Um, but I also want to see more of the education being of importance instead of always pointing out the things that are quote unquote wrong or bad. Um, instead of like trying to say, hey, how can I help or volunteer? I think the volunteering is um, lacking in certain respects. It's always the same people doing the volunteering. And uh, like maybe as a whole, bring speakers in that are dynamic. Work with the um, rec departments to say, hey, can you suspend your sport tonight and have your parents show up? And things like that. Those incentives are really crucial. The other thing is I was reviewing um, one of the board policies that was passed in 2014, and it maybe it didn't come up in, in the policy to be reviewed as of yet, was about um, conducting like, um, let's see here. It's policy 0134, district policy board self-evaluation. I know it's mentioned that several board members are missing, but this I think is crucial. Um, the conduct, um, so it, it talks about self-evaluation and the relationship of the board with the superintendent. In the last couple of months, I saw more of silly scrutiny publicly um, of things that were very um, inflammatory, I think, to the parents. Um, I found it very disturbing, personally, and I did vocalize that many, many times, and I, I will continue to do so if necessary. And it's not at to um, to cause any chaos, but to just put people um, in a perspective like you're talking to people who are not in the business of education and you're scaring them. Um, and, and saying things that are just unnecessary, um, in my opinion. I know you guys mentioned that you talked to Mr. Greco um, for various reasons. Uh, is that, was that considered an exit interview? Okay. Will you conduct an exit interview? And maybe perhaps get some feedback from him what he was seeing and thinking of planning to do and possibly have the next superintendent look into those things. Thank you.
So we do have two surveys. You know, like I said before, we do have the superintendent search email. If you think of anything between now and we're going to keep it open while we interview as well. Uh, you know, by all means, send any questions you still have. We'll get back to you. But, you know, if you have any questions that we, you know, we're going to let you know what we're going to do with the stakeholder part, but we'll also take these questions if we can and bring them to our interviews. I know I will add them to have the ongoing list, and I'll share with the rest of the committee a few that came in today. They started to come in today. So um, a lot of great questions to ask in addition to the ones that I